Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to be reacting to some little TikTok videos here. This first one that I'm gonna show you was interesting to watch, so I watched another and another <laughs> per usual. There are some teachable moments and nuggets of wisdom that I would like to share with all of you. So let's watch, and then we will reconvene and I'll tell you all my thoughts. How's dating changed for you at 32 than it did when you were 22? I feel like it was e easier at 22 because I was young and not exactly sure what I'm looking for. And now that I'm older and I know what I'm looking for and like what my expectations are, I think it's harder for me because I find it harder to be flexible with that just because like I know what I bring to the table. So what do you think you bring to the table? Drive, ambition, I'm successful in my career. Um, I don't know. I can cook. <laughs> I mean, that's a loaded question. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm overall a good person. I have loyalty. I'm a decent communicator, but would somebody you, could disagree with you. Would you be open to dating a guy who made significantly less than you? Yeah. Why not? Did money used to have a bigger importance when you were younger? Yes. So what changed? I grew up. So all of these videos that I'm gonna show you are related. They're all from the same channel. There are a few points from this one that I wanna mention before we get into the next video. So she said, now that I know what I'm looking for, I find it harder to be flexible. I can for sure see where she's coming with this one. I think the older that you get, the more set in your ways you are, and you're probably less likely to stray from that. But I also think as you get older, what you're looking for changes a little bit, right? So he asked her, you know, would you date someone now who makes less money than you? And she said, yeah, for sure. Um, but then he said, would you have at 22? And she said, no, because I grew up. And I think as you grow up, you learn the things that really matter and the things that don't. And maybe what you were being a little bit too picky on versus, you know, what you have a little bit of wiggle room on in the future. Um, and again, I think it's not necessarily all due to the fact that, you know, you know what you want and you're not willing to stray from that. I think you just realize what's important and those things change, right? You know, what you're looking for at 22 might be different than what someone is looking for at 32. You know, not always though. A lot of 22 year old women know that they want to be married and have a family and they look for men who have qualities that reflect what they want. Um, so is this every woman? No, but I think a lot of women now, you know, your 20s are very different than your 30s. I think a lot of women use their 20s at this day and age as a fun period of time. You know, you're building your career, you're nourishing the friendships in your life, and they are not necessarily focused on the relationship aspect as much as they were, you know, a while ago. So he asked her what she brings to the table, and I have to say, I know this is maybe a tough question to answer on the spot if nobody has ever asked you this before, or maybe you've never thought about it before. So I try to give a little bit of grace, but I think her answer really highlights here that many women just don't know what men actually want in a partner and they think that men are looking for the same things that they're looking for when in reality you know there is some overlap of course but i think what men and women are looking for are actually very different uh, because the things she mentioned aren't necessarily things that men are looking for at all or at least not at the top of their list you know she said things like drive ambition i'm successful in my career i can cook that one, yeah. <laughs> you know, there was no mention of things that are basic needs within a relationship of, you know, being supportive, being nurturing, um, being caring. I think there's a lot more that men are looking for that don't involve, you know, a woman being necessarily driven or having a ton of ambition or having a fancy job title, being successful in a career. Those can be bonuses for a lot of people, um, but I, I just don't think those are the basic human needs within a relationship. Uh, so it's interesting to hear how people answer that question. Um, but then as I mentioned, she also says that money used to be more important to her when she was younger, but now she would date someone who makes less than her. And again, I think that's because as you get older, you realize that you cared about really dumb things when you were younger. Okay, and then we're gonna watch this next one here, asking the same question, just to see how another girl answers it, right? I don't wanna just go off of one video. I wanted to show a couple. How old are you? 27. Has dating gotten easier for you? No. Why not? I feel like boys just like get stupid until they reach 30. So you think it's going to change magically in three years? No, but I think they like hit an age where like mature, they're like, okay, maybe I should start treating women right. Under 27, they're like, I'll do what I want. Could it be that maybe these men are just going for younger women? No, so I dated a 39-year-old and he was the same way. 
he didn't believe in monogamy and he was like, no, I want to do whatever I want, whatever I want. Was he pretty successful? Yeah. So he was established? Yeah. And you I, said... I don't think that should determine whether or not you should like feel a certain way about women or not. That's true. But he's 39, you're 27. I was 24 at the time. That one just kept getting more interesting as it went on. So she says the reason dating has gotten harder for her is because boys get stupid until they reach 30. Um, but then proceeded to talk about how she dated a 39 year old while she was 24 who didn't believe in monogamy and wanted to do whatever we whatever he wanted. Um, and I think here I would say like, do we not see that maybe it's clearly the type of man that you're going for? My brain hurts. <laughs> like it's kind of an I choose poorly thing, but it's the person I choose poorly's fault. And again, I try to give a little bit of grace because I know that street interviews, it can feel very on the spot and tough to answer questions um, if you're someone who's not used to doing that. But I also think there were just like a lot of contradictions there. And it, it's just interesting to hear people talk about their experiences and not be able to kind of see, you know, their own fault in it. You know, if you're 24 dating a 39 year old who tells you he doesn't believe in monogamy, like you should probably believe him and just date a guy who aligns with you instead of trying to like change someone's mind or then acting like that person was a horrible person because they didn't want what you wanted. You know, again, and I try to keep in mind also, someone can be a good person and just not be good for you. So it's important to find things you align on, you know, values, morals, life goals, instead of like, oh, this guy's successful and has a lot of money, he's my type. You know, like it's just, it's really also noticing who you are actively choosing and understanding that you play a role in that as well. Um, anyway, next. What do you look for in a guy? Any guy, as long as he's tall and six feet, I'll find him hot. Funny, weird and goofy, can cook slash feed me, ambitious and motivated, hygienic and clean, okay. social and friendly, has been in a relationship before, Good shoe game. Should I keep going? It's like yes. long. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Has other interests that aren't just sports. Seriously. Like, fuck off with the golf. Would live within a few hours from my family in the future. This was a big issue in my last relationship. Non-smoker, but I'm a hypocrite. Close with family. Thoughtful. Likes to try new things and actively makes plans. Hiking, going on dates, movies, etc. Likes good music slash same taste of music as me, Kid Cudi specifically. Interest with my career, um, doesn't get jealous about anything, doesn't keep me from any plans, will do what I want and they can't have a problem with that. I'll do what I want and they can't have a problem with that, but that's a given. Makes an effort to meet my friends, likes animals, our muscles, tattoos, Italian is a bonus, and has sisters. Sister is huge. Sisters. Biggest green flag in guys if he has an older sister. Like, yeah. Biggest green flag in guy if he has an older sister. I mean, that was quite literally one of the most unrealistic list of requirements I've ever heard in my life. If women are out here demanding all of this, it's no wonder more people are single now than ever before. Good luck. Some of the things on that list I will say were realistic and fine to ask for, but when you add up all those things, I mean, you are down to a fraction of a percent. Good luck finding that. And I think people also get really caught up on having a type or like thinking that you have to have every single thing in common. You should have things in common, again, like values, morals, life goals. But outside of that, it's okay if you have some different hobbies. Sure, it's nice to have things you enjoy doing together so that you can you know, enjoy that in your relationship. Um, I would recommend having some things in common, some interests in common, but they don't have to all be in common. They don't have to like the exact same type of music as you or have sisters. Nobody can control that. Anyway, I wanted to show that third video because the two videos I showed before were, you know, a 32 year old and a 27 year old. And these girls seem to be a bit younger, um, maybe around 21, 22. They seemed very young to me. And I think it's just interesting when you, when you see um, 
you know, someone talking about how dating gets harder for them as they get older, and then you see a 22-year-old and what they might be asking for, and you just kind of see how unrealistic some of those things are. And there's a lot of reasons why people have unrealistic expectations these days. Social media has a lot to do with it. But I think, again, as you get older, you realize what really matters and what doesn't. But what I wanted to do also, since I showed all those, I wanted to come back to reality a little bit and share the actual reasons why dating might become harder as you get older, because I think it's important to know the actual reasons and to, of course, take accountability for, you know, the role that you might play in that too. So, you know, I do agree with the first point in a way that was mentioned on, you know, as you get older, maybe you're less likely to, you know, compromise on things that you know that you want, um, or you might become pickier with age. I think a lot of people do just because they've created a life for themselves that they aren't really willing to, you know, make any big changes on. Um, but then I've also, equally enough seeing people who become less picky about things that don't actually matter as they get older. So maybe you're becoming more picky on the things that do matter, like I mentioned before, the values aligning, the life goals aligning, morals, um, you know, these bigger life things that your relationship is built upon, you know, the foundation of your relationship versus these little things that really don't matter. So I think it's okay to become more picky about the things that do matter because you know what you want and, and that makes sense, right? You know, if you're someone who doesn't want kids, I think it's important to be with someone who doesn't want kids too. So like that's an example where I think it makes total sense. When you're younger, you might care more about superficial things such as height, uh, physical appearance, but as you age, you realize those things just don't hold as much value as you thought previously and they don't actually contribute to the longevity of your relationship and you realize that prioritizing again as I mentioned values morals and life goals are far more important so yeah I think that is a big reason why you know dating gets a little bit harder as you get older the next reason is it could become more difficult to meet people. You know, when you're in high school or college, you're constantly surrounded by people who are kind of at the same stage of life as you are, and then therefore it can just naturally be easier to meet people. You know, once you start working full-time, if you're not someone who prioritizes having a social life or hobbies or doing things where you could actually meet people in real life, this then might create a struggle for you in terms of meeting a future romantic partner. In these cases, I think a lot of women will then turn to online dating um, and tend to have much more success on there than men typically do. Uh, the next reason is that many men prefer younger partners. This especially rings true if they want a family. You know, a woman's fertility doesn't last forever. You can get mad at me all you want for saying that. Um, but that's unfortunately a fact. As a woman, I recognize that. I think it's important to note that statistically here, the larger an age gap is between partners, the less likely the relationship is to succeed. I've actually done an entire video about that if you want more details um, and kind of the statistics surrounding that, but I think it's important to mention that. I know a lot of you have mixed feelings about it. I'm not someone who really cares, to be honest with you. I think people should, you know, go for whoever they feel is a good match for them whether that be, you know, you're three years apart or 10 years apart. It's helpful sometimes though to know the statistics around things and why things are the way that they are. I'm not gonna get too in the weeds because I've done an entire video about this. If you want more details, I'll link it down below for you. Another one is changes in physical appearance or your health. Um, another is increased likelihood of having prior relationship baggage or responsibilities such as children. Um, again, that would kind of put you at different places in life. That might limit the pool of people for you to choose from. Maybe someone doesn't necessarily want to be a step parent or take on these extra responsibilities from a prior relationship or marriage. Um, again, everyone is different, looking for different things. You know, everyone has different preferences, uh, but I think this does often limit the pool of people to choose from. And the same with the next point here is that many people, you know, as you get older are already taken, limiting your pool of potential mates to choose from as well. You know, it is true that marriage is getting delayed and pushed back as women are spending their 20s working and prioritizing their career and waiting until their 30s to get married or have kids. So everything is getting pushed back a little bit more than before. But I do still think by your 30s and 40s, a lot of people have already gotten married and had children. And so that obviously limits the people that are available for you to date. So there are many reasons why dating can become more difficult as you get a little bit older, but I also wanna emphasize that we're all on different timelines and that's okay. You know, not everything has to be identical from person to person um, and it's okay if things look a little bit different for you. There's also no, you know, limit. You can find love in your 60s or your 70s. People do it all the time. And so I get a lot of questions of, you know, is it too late for me? Am I doomed? 
And to that I would say no. I think a lot of people find love later in life. Of course, dating might get a little bit more difficult the older you get for some people. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that your chances are 0%. So I just wanted to emphasize that because I know it can be sad to hear you know, dating gets harder as you get older. I think it's very different for men and women as well. You know, these videos I reacted to were women explaining why dating gets harder for them as they get older. So maybe then I'll do another video about men. Um, let me know if you guys would wanna see that. If you liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. I would also love to hear your personal experiences down in the comments. What is your relationship status? Has it gotten harder or easier for you as you've gotten older? We'd love to just hear some different stories and experiences down in the comments. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.